The weather is clement and the guests share a common passion which is art appreciation. They are here the instance of Omobayi Misadi Shilon Art Foundation. Jeffrey Omondi Majina, a Kenyan, is in Nigeria for the first time. To start with, there are so many people, there are so many children. People eat a lot of meat, a lot. I'm a vegan, so I don't eat any type of meat, but it was hectic for me to go to a place and what they first serve me is meat. Even before me asking anything, they would just think, ah, that guy looks like he wants chicken meat and something. And then me being Rasta made people feel comfortable. I don't know why. So people are always, ah, Rasta Farai, you know, so I'm like, okay, Rasta, you know. I have never worn any native wear in my life. So this is the first time I get to wear like a Yoruba man. You know, so I feel humbled and privileged that I can wear like a real barman. And since this is the first time I've worn this, I'm pretty sure when I go back home, I already saw like I think five of this. So I'm pretty sure that's my change of dressing. Jeffrey graduated with a second class upper division in accounting and finance from Strathmore University in 2013. He's focused more on art practice because that's where he finds fulfillment. He's been in Nigeria for a five-week residency program. He produced 19 paintings. This piece is titled Saint Fela, and I know it's very controversial for so many people, but it's titled Saint Fela because I felt Saint Fela to be a saint to me personally. He spoke about Africa. I stand for Africa. He's an icon that I can look up to. Son of Fela. It's all about me telling the world that I am the best, the next big thing in Africa. This is called Sele Prison. I feel as Africans we need to start looking into our own type of spirituality, not a spirituality that has been brought to us. This is called African Bulls and basically it talks about the political environment that is in my country, Kenya. People are trying to fight for democracy and there are powers that are trying to control these people. So that's why the imagery is of a bull, which represents, signifies some form of strength, power. You can see holes in it that describe the immensity of this whole image into this set of canvas. The power that this piece has will also eat itself up. Aduke, and Aduke is the lady who welcomes you when you get to Abekuta where Prince Shilon's residency is. These are a study of the sculptures that are in Prince's home in Abekuta. The sculptures are very powerful, so they have to give you some form of um, life-like sense. So for me, that was the whole point of me wanting to study each and every one of them. All yourself has given many non-Nigerians the opportunity of visiting and learning more about the country and her visual artists. Well, it was a deliberate policy. I visited Kenya last year and I found out that the, the art scene is dominated by non-Kenyans and that the artists in Kenya are rather subsumed in the whole activities around art in Kenya. As against the situation here in Nigeria, artists are very buoyant in Nigeria. They are very involved in the whole art scene. I can see the art scene in Nigeria is dominated by Nigerians. Even the collectors are mostly Nigerians. It is the other way around in Kenya. You find that the works done by the great Murumbi of Kenya is a lost history of Kenyan art. And so I came back here and I felt we don't seem to be helping our African brothers and sisters to ensure that they too can grow the way we are growing. And so I introduced this International Artist in Residence program. And I intend to attract African artists to interact with our artists and our art institutions and produce works of art based on the cultural milieu of our people. And in the process, introduce some element of acculturization. Art enthusiasts listened to Jeffrey with rapt attention. He's a multi-dimensional artist with series of works which can simply be summarized that uh, his mission was clear. 
It's a good social engineer. He's a very, um, I think, smart and intelligent um, young man with a variety of experiences. So he has worked in accounting. He has a business background. He also um, enjoys hockey. Jeffrey Magina is a 30-year-old artist. He has had solo and also participated in many group exhibitions. He says coming to Nigeria is a dream come true.